Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Because of the high voltage and high current used by microwave ovens, be aware that repairing this appliance poses a substantial risk for injury or death if precautions are not taken. You should always unplug the microwave before you attempt any disassembly. Since high voltage capacitors used in microwaves may retain a charge even after the microwave has been unplugged, we recommend that only experienced professionals access and replace internal components. To replace the magnetron tube in your microwave oven, you will need to uninstall the appliance. Have an assistant support the microwave while you remove the mounting bolts from the upper cabinet. Carefully tilt the microwave down and pull the power cord through the hole in the cabinet. Now lift the microwave off of the rear mounting bracket and set it on a sturdy surface resting on a towel or blanket. Unthread the screws securing the grill. Pull the grill forward from the top to remove. If still in place, remove the glass turntable and support. Now tip the microwave so it rests on its back panel. And remove the bottom panel by using a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the mounting screws. With the screws removed, pull the panel away from the base and disconnect the wire harness. Detach the grommet from the frame and pull the wire free. Note the orientation of the turntable motor wires, then slide off the insulators. Depress the locking tabs to disconnect the wires and you can fully remove the bottom panel. Return the microwave to its upright position. Remove all of the screws securing the cabinet. Unthread the screws securing the blower cover and remove the cover. You can now fully remove the cabinet. To avoid injury, you should release the potentially stored electrical charge in the capacitor. You can do this by placing a screwdriver with an insulated handle across both terminals. Be very careful not to touch the screwdriver blade. Now, remove the screw and washer to detach the grounding wire. Unthread the air baffle mounting screws. Pull the baffle free. Note the orientation of the magnetron tube wires, then depress the locking tabs to disconnect the wires. Next, remove the screws to release the thermal protector. Use a T20 Torx bit screwdriver to unthread the mounting screws securing the magnetron tube.
lift out the old component. Before you install the new magnetron tube, make sure the seal is in place at the base of the antenna. Now align the new component in the microwave and replace the screws. Connect the wires to the appropriate terminals. Position the thermal protector and secure it with the screws. Reposition the air baffle. Rethread the screws to secure. Replace the screw and washer to secure the grounding wire to the frame. Make sure the power cord is secured. Then reposition the cabinet by aligning the top edge first. Push the sides forward, making sure the cabinet tabs align with the frame. Replace the screws to secure the cabinet. Reposition the blower cover and secure it with the screws. Rest the microwave on its back panel. Replace the bottom panel by first reconnecting the turntable motor wires to the appropriate terminals. Slide on the insulators. Align the wire in the frame and secure it with the grommet. Then reconnect the wire harness. Fully reposition the bottom panel and secure it with the screws. Return the appliance to its upright position. Realign the grill and snap it into place. Then rethread the screws to secure. Now carefully reposition the microwave on the mounting bracket by hooking the back edge of the appliance on the bracket tabs. Insert the power cord through the hole in the upper cabinet. Lift the microwave up and secure the mounting bolts. Plug the power cord back in. Replace the turntable and support, and your microwave oven should be ready for use. <laughs>